Welcome back to the biggest agricultural platform in Namibia known as Nduna Wengombe, which means headman of cattle. My name, of course, is Mitchell Mutuba Simata, a.k.a. the Nduna Wengombe. So to, today on the 2nd of August 2022, very cold weather we're having these past few days, and it said it might get colder. I'd love to talk about agri-equipment. Usually I talk about the livestock and the plants. We never talk about the equipment we utilize. I know I did one video where I spoke about a self-driving tractor and technology in, in agriculture, but I never touch on agri-equipment, right? So today, on this 2nd of August, 2022, I'd love to touch on a plow made by Limken in Germany. So the information is sourced from the biggest agricultural platform in Sadiq, which is Farmers Weekly. So as you guys know, I'm never writing so I got my trusted notebook here. Let's get into the information. A plow to improve carbon storage, source Farmers Weekly. Lemkin has developed the carbon farming plow in collaboration with Libanus Center of Agriculture Landscape Research, ZALF. ZALF works on the yield and climate effects of, of partly deep tillage. Tillage is funded by the German Federal Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Lemkin will use this research to create and improve to create to create an implement for carb enrichment in arid soil the plow is intended to be used for to be used for meliorative tillage to break up compaction and improve the soil as to improve the soil as the result the implement features bodies that plow at alternating depths to create wells below the tillage level in every other farrow which are then filled with Humus rich topsoil. An analysis of, of trials conducted by ZALF have shown that more than half of the humus in, introduced in this manner is retained to secure the long term storage of carbon in the soil. Better soil. The lower soil levels, the lower soil layers, which have little humus, are plowed up in the process and mixed with the topsoil. This forms new humus rich topsoil within a matter of only a few years as carbon is introduced from crops. The humus content of soil tilled in this manner increases the soil fertility, improves. As the, at the same time, the sustainable soil improves, creates a new business model in the form of carbon farming. Breaking up compacted soils while also introducing humus rich topsoil into soil wells enabled plant roots to grow into deeper soil levels and access the water and nutrients retained there. This can increase yieldage by up to 5% as, as early as the first year. The effect was established in the, in the 1960s and again in the 1980s and has been confirmed by recent trials conducted by ZALF. The process can be repeated diagonally, the main direction, diagonally to the main direction of work after five to ten years of after five to ten years. In addition to the above benefits, the carbon farming technologies opens up new income streams for farmers in the form of trade in carbon dioxide certificates. A potential future tax on carbon dioxide emission is therefore avoided and the competitiveness of farms is improved. When paired with the cue ball connect model, the carbon farming plow will be, will be capable of collecting site specific work data and, and precisely documenting the depth and position of the wells created. The new plow will be available to purchase from mid-2024. So this is the plow that uh, Limken wants to create, which will help return the carbon back into the soil and also improve the humus, which means the, the fertile topsoil, back into the ground and breaking up compacted soils. So this is the second video of agri-technologies that I'll touch on. And we spoke about a, a plow. Maybe the next one we'll talk about drones. So, new segment that I'm trying out to see, the agri-technologies, because you know, it's not just about your cattle and your plants, it's also about the technology and the equipment we use. So today I touched about a plow, 
that is being created by Limken in partnership with Liberner Center and Landscape Research, short and itself, and uh, they were uh, they were commissioned by the German Federal Ministry of Food and Agriculture. So this is what they're trying to do. They're saying this plow will be ready by 2020, by mid-2024. Maybe other companies are already running into it to try to create something similar or something that could be better. As they said, in future, farmers might be charged for carbon dioxide um, tax. But with this plow, it limits that. So... With that said, ladies and gentlemen, second Agri-Tech video, I just want to say bye for now.